Hello everyone and welcome. Today we will be designing clearances in our sketches for top-down modeling approach. I'm using a Libreatom, but it will work in basically any modern CAD software like Fusion, Onshape, SolidWorks, Solid Edge, you name it. Unfortunately, in FreeCAD this approach is not ready yet and won't work properly and I'll show you that at the end of the video. So for these demonstrations we will need two parts and it is inspired by the kids sorting toys. So we will start with the first part and define our shapes. Okay, let's activate sketch on the front plane. And let's start with some geometries for our sorting puzzle. First one will be rectangle and let's make it approximate dimensions. We will not constrain it today. And then the next will be a circle. Then we will create a hexagon. Using the polygon tool we will set sides to 6 and just draw it in. Click apply and then let's draw in a triangle. Click apply, close and we are done with the sketch. Let's deactivate it and select the extrude boss command for 20 millimeters. Click OK. Most CAD programs and FreeCAD as well now supports the multi-body parts. Then let's edit the second part and we will create new sketch on the front plane and it will be a circular lid. We'll create a circle that encases all those geometries. Click OK, deactivate sketch, extrude it for let's say 20 millimeters. That will be totally fine. Then I will create new sketch on top face again and create one more circle to make a lip. Deactivate and let's set extrude cut for 5 millimeters. Reverse the direction, click OK. Select the back side of our lid. Use the shell command. Standard thickness will be, let's say, 3 millimeters and click OK. So we have our lid prepared. We can now color it. Let's color it yellow. Click OK. Now we can start cutting out holes for our geometry. So let's select the top face, activate sketch and project our rectangle and our circle. Maintain association, click OK. We are fully defined, deactivate sketch and just extrude cut through all OK. Now here we can see that we have this geometry cut. There is a hole, we can hide our first part and we will see that our cut works fine. Let's enable back our parts. But there are no clearances. How do we approach it? Let's say we are somewhere at the end of the design and we used our top-down modeling approach and we want to create those additional clearances. So let's edit the same sketch. Select the geometry and let's just convert this to reference figures. Let's select the first one, click the offset tool. It's a kid's toy, like let's make a bigger clearance like 2 millimeters. We want it to be on the outside because it's a hole. The hole needs to be bigger. Flip direction, click OK. And we'll do the same for the circle. Click offset 2 millimeters. It's on the outside, click OK. And as soon as we deactivate the sketch, it will recompute and the hole will become bigger. So this is the easy way how to design in clearances in a sketch. Of course you should always constrain your sketches so they don't move in the future and they would be predictable while modeling. So with these two figures we added sketch after we created the model but nothing prevents us to do it while we are modeling and while we are sketching. So let's select the top face again, activate the sketch and this time we will project these two faces and we will create the reference figure as a first step. Then we will just offset by same 2 millimeters, flip direction so the hole is bigger, click OK, offset, flip direction, OK. Now we can deactivate the sketch and use the sketch that already contains clearances and cut it through all. Let's go to the front and check our body. Now we know that we need two tools for this approach to work. The first one is to project the geometry and the second one is to offset it. 
The FreeCAD 1.0 has both of those tools. It can project reference geometry and there is an offset tool. Let's take this simple example. Let's create a new sketch. Click close and pad it. For 10 millimeters, that's fine. Now let's select the top face, create new sketch there, and let's project our external geometry and select the edge. Now we can see that we have our geometry. It's a reference geometry, so it will not create new features. And we can select it. And here's a new offset geometry tool in FreeCAD. However, if we click it, we will get an error message that this geometry is not valid. So unfortunately, this error message blocks us from using the offset tool on the reference geometry. I will go and create uh, the issue ticket on FreeCAD GitHub, and let's hope that this is addressed and implemented, because it will help modeling parts in FreeCAD much faster. Editing note from the future. I have created uh, the GitHub ticket for FreeCAD, showcasing that the external geometry cannot be offset. And as you can see, it was classified as a duplicate of already existing case. This one is marked high priority and it's active from February 16. So let's hope that this feature will be implemented as soon as possible. Thank you for your attention. I hope you found this approach useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to click like and subscribe. See you in the next one.